So in this video, I will share you very cool AI tools that I found. I'm very happy with them and I'm sure you will be pleased as well and you'll find what you were looking for. Let's go. First AI tool. I've been waiting for over a year it's come and it's finally here and it's worth it. By the way, very well done guys, developers who created that. I don't know, this is not AI, just very good work. What kind of AI tool? This is AI that generates a website from scratch and name is Dora AI. And in addition to create a website in a minute on demand, there is also a builder in it, just like a Figma. So after the generating the website, you can, in a couple of clicks, replace, move, add any bottom tags, pictures, and moreover, this tool is also support 3D frameworks. And with it, the website is gonna look amazing. How does it work? You just go to the website and write a prompt what kind of website what you want. For example, create a landing page for the selling homes appliance with a list of products, description, prices, and a buy button. Focus on a user friendliness. And I get four really cool variations, which already has a unique design with all the bottoms, headers, cup, footer. I can click on publish and they give me a link to the website. And this was just a simple generation, which already, by the way, looks much more interesting because all of these pictures on the website have been generated by AI and they're kind of good quality. I like that. But what makes Dora AI is unique compared to others is exactly full customizations. For example, if you sit down for a little bit to try to make something cool, you can get the website like this which I found one of the guys did the website. Or like this, the guy just made a fish that swims all over the website. A very interesting. Dora is not free. It costs from $8 to $20 for the creation and for the monthly support of the site. The link gonna be in the description, check it out. The second cool tool is a GPT, which will write a cool me journey prompts for you. Be sure to check it out, Midjourney has a huge update, so to generate very high quality pictures, you can use this bot, which will generate a prompt exactly for your Midjourney and exactly for the new version, version 6. You can just write in the chat what kind of pictures that you want, and the GPTs will create a five professional prompts for you, which you can copy and paste into Midjourney. For example, I asked generate a suit room view from the inside and for the windows to be panoramic in the floor. And I got these five prompts. I just copied that, pasted it on Midjourney and the results that I got. Well, you have to admit, it looks awesome. Yeah, of course, there is some exceptions. For example, the last result, it's not really like windows into the floor, but three others, awesome. You probably meet these kind of pictures on a YouTube. If you're looking for the chill out music and so on, they have a lot of thumbnails like this. The following tool can make any of your photo dance. This AI tool can generate like your photos and also a generate a character, for example, and animate it. You just go to the app, you upload a photo of yourself, for example, or of anyone you want, and then you upload a video which moves that you want to repeat and click generate. One thing is that if you want your video gonna be a good quality, then you have to press on, but you have to wait a little bit longer. And this is the video that I got. bad. Next following AI, you can try on any item on yourself. So for example, you know if this clothes will fit on you before you buy it. Or you can use it for the business. On the contrary, putting your clothes on the models for free. Yes, it works for free. It works on the hugging face and it generates very fast. No heaps, sliders, all sort of unnecessary and it's possible to select a separate generation area. For example, I won't just try the top, but leave the bottom the same as I want. What do you need to do? So you upload your photo on the left and you upload the photo of the clothes that you want to try on and you just press run. And this is the result we got. I think it will be very useful for closing retailers or vice versa, you want to create such a business now. The one thing that was important here, that it works very well on the models that's already loaded into it. So basically like it's very good to try your clothes on the models that already trained. 
But if you want to try the clothes on yourself, then you need to upload a really high quality photo of yourself. Otherwise, the AI will not really read you correctly and you can get results like this. Ridiculous a little bit. Okay, next AI tool, Jetta AI. A very cool tool, I love it. And I think you will like it too, because this AI can exceed your ideas or for example, your data into visualization, visualize them. It's like a photo editor, but for your ideas or for your boring documents. For example, if you have an idea for some project, then Jetta can help you visualize it. Or if you already have your documents, boring ones, and you want to show them in the beautiful colors, you can make them with the icons out of the text. So you can just load your document and you can visualize it. I will show you in a bit what I got how to use it. For example, I uploaded a fictional spreadsheet with the data and I asked AI to segment me all the people by the category from the spreadsheets. And this is the result I got. Looks very nice. It's edited the colors, distributed all the segments. Everything looks much more interesting than just my boring spreadsheets. Then I asked to segment people by earning level and occupation and it made me these funny charts. Or I ask to segment people based on the professional background and their interest. And this is much more interesting tablet I got. The good thing that I like here that all of this can be changeable. So if I don't like just specific part on it, I can click on it and I just can ask regenerate exact this one and keep everything else. And this was just only three variations that I just showed you. There are so many variations that you can try. You can check out what they have. They have a lot of tablets that you can see, what you can do, ideas, how you can use it. But it might be not enough credit. So first of all, just check it out what they have, what you can do, and then just test out the things that can be relevant to you because it gives you 3000 tokens, free tokens, which is already can be enough for try and subscription gonna be 10 dollars. The next AI tool called Type Frames and it allows you to make a different video, screen savers and generate videos or edit your existing video. In this AI tool, I personally like two features that I will show you right now. And the first features that I like, it can create this kind of spectacular screen savers with the text. You might see something like this. And these kind of things you can create here. AI can create. You register through Google and then you write your text. You can choose color plates, choose the track on which AI will pick up the bits to the words and then generate video like this. We, by the way, use these kind of videos very often into advertising our product because it's spectacular and it's given really good result. It was explosive music, you just write the most important thing, just maybe some announcements and that's all. The second feature that I like is if you have already some existing videos, for example, they blow up and you want to remake it so you can repost it, you can upload it here and you can ask AI to unify them. For example, it can add voiceover or it can make a small montage of the video and you can reload this video. Besides these two features, there is also other things. For example, you can generate a video from text. Just I personally don't like them because I have me to so speak out. But if you, for example, have a channel, no faceless channel, you can try it on. Why not? It really cuts down on time. You just describe the text, for example, what kind of videos that you want. Choose the author voice, choose the music that will be on the background, and you generate short videos like this. Neural networks are innovative computing systems inspired by the organization and functioning of the human brain, capable of processing huge amounts of data and extracting useful information from it. The little cons with it is it text lags behind the voice, but you can all correct it. It has editor inside of it. So in the editor, you can rechange music, you can change author voice, you can change the speed and so on, but you need to sit on it. All in all, interesting tool that you can use. The next AI tool is a GPTs, which will help you to install a complex programs. I know I often give some programs like on Hugging Face or a GitHub, and those need to be installed. 
and sometimes you cannot install them because it requires some interactions with the GitHub and so on, and this GPT can help you to do that. And it works very well. What you need to do, you just need to describe in a GPT what you need to install. Just write, help me install this tool, the name, on my Mac. And GPT will provide you with the link and with the instructions what you need to do. Don't thank me, just to give a like to this video. Next tool. Next tool I added because I get so many requests on my previous channel. And thanks to this tool, you can now create your own stories with the AI and voice them. And it's beautiful, you might like it. After registrations, you just click Create with AI. You can choose a free trial, type of writing, and then the window opens where you need to set up the settings of the book itself. So you need to choose the language, genre, age limit, writing style, as well as number of the pages, and of course, what the book will be about. Then you click generate outlines and it generate outlines for you. And if you like it, you can create a generate and it will generate the full book for you with a cover, with the main characters and even their pictures. And I would say after reading that, there is no way that I would say that this was written by AI. Let's be honest. Next, we can add the voiceover to our book and listen what we got. As he worked, Alex couldn't help but feel a growing sense of connection to the ancient text, as if the very act of deciphering its secrets was forging an unbreakable bond between him and the parchment. Nice. The next AI tool is AI tool for the learning language, but not just the regular like apps that probably you already tried for thousands of time and they don't work. This AI tool actually might be quite interesting and kind of useful. It's called Glitch Glitch and it's created for you to learn foreign languages. The main trick here is that you learn here by talking. So if this is the AI tool, it's an instrument that you need to speak. You need to speak to answer the questions with your voice. And also cool that you can pick up specific situation here, for example, at the airport or at the post office, or to learn specific words, specific questions, answer that you can use in any given situations. And there is also different subscription plans. There is a free one as well, and you can try the free one, of course. So you can start without any commitment. You just go to the website, click on the bottom, and then select the language that you want to learn. Next, you choose, are you going to talk to the teacher or are you going to simulate the situation? Choose the appropriate situation. I select, for example, ask a stranger for the help and the course loads. And then they just start asking you a questions that you need to answer them, saying it all in Spanish, let's say. And if you don't answer, you just don't get the next question. That's all for today. Write me in the comments which AI tool you like the most. Support the channel. It's just starting to give a more motivation. Just write what to improve. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.